Hey everybody, my name is Alden. I'm um, Drew. And welcome back to Born From A Wish. Uh, last time we found a gift for Ernest, uh, given from his late daughter who fell out of the window of an attic. Huh. Gross. We gotta find Ernest now. Yeah, we heard a gunshot earlier. What Ooh. the? What the? Yeah, just just go ahead and equip the gun. Yeah. Lock is broken. Yeah. Yeah. I know your tricks. Oh, oh, oh there's roaches. Those. It's those. The bugs. Hate bugs. Oh, oh. Oh boy, it's gonna be fun. Bugs are gonna keep interrupting you. Decided that. Oh, okay, we're no, we're ending, we're ending them all here. <laughs> we decided that this was a good mechanic. Yeah. Run, run around and squish all the bugs you can't see because of the camera. Oh wow. Oh. Okay, don't do that. Just this hallway's bad. Just don't be here any longer than you have to. I don't know that there is a finite number of those things. Yeah, that was awful. <clears throat> that hallway did more damage than the rest of the game up to this point. Jesus. Sound design in this uh, game is pretty good. Oh, it's so good. With the exception of those... Uh... With the exception of those bugs. Those bugs, I don't understand <laughs> who thought that chicka 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 was cockroach. Yeah. Well, in so much as chicka 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 means lying figure. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh... Although it is kind of interesting that you get you still get these audio cues that were coming from James's radio in the main scenario. Maria just hears them. Yeah, she does. Yeah. I feel like that's more a fact of the designers not wanting to strip that functionality because the audio cues are really important. Yeah. And not so much a a plot relevant thing. I could be wrong. Although depending again, depending on your interpretation of this game, uh it could be completely intentional too. Yeah, it it's all open to interpretation. That's one of the things I really like about this game, actually, is that there is so much open to interpretation. Dropping our first save in the game. Oh! Okay. Um, We're gonna go with nine. Number nine? Okay. <coughs> Saving over our first results screen. Wait, was that... That or... was locked, locked. What? What? That was that was the save over our result over result screen. Did I yeah. just do that? Yeah, it said result screen. Oh well. I mean, not like I'm ever gonna use it. Doesn't really matter. Oh, I see you back there, mannequin. Yeah. You can't fool me. Let's look at some of the stuff in here. There's old books and stuff. Here's a book. Lost Memories. Ooh. The Resurrection of the Dead. Uh, we might have already shown this, uh, ending. I don't believe we've shown the optional endings yet. Okay. But this is related to and one of the endings. Ending. Yes. One of the endings, yes. Also believe death was reversible. Did Ernest write this? Hmm. Blood equals red, mist equals white, and night equals black. Yeah. We've already established that, actually. Yeah.
Do you know a little girl named Amy? Why do you ask me that? This letter. To my dearest daddy. It's from a girl named Amy Baldwin. Your daddy? Yes. Where'd you find that? Up in the attic. Oh. What a fool. Now. It's too late. I finally understand why. <laughs> why she was there. Why she was holding that empty envelope when she, when she fell. Ernest, Amy, she isn't... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I reminded you. No need to apologize. You didn't remind me. I've never forgotten. Maria, some things we forget, and some things we can never forget. It's funny, I'm not sure which one is sadder. It's been ten years, but I still... Ernest, I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, it's, it's fine. Maria, that letter. I'll leave it here. Thanks. Maria? So... You must be... That's why... That's why you could see me. Huh? So perhaps that means that I can hope for a miracle as well. What do you mean? In the apartment next door, there's a bottle containing a white liquid. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know it's in there somewhere. I must have it. You... want me to get it for you? Please. Why don't you just get it yourself? If I could, believe me, I would. But I... White? I'll open the stairway door. Ernest, do you really believe it will work? I don't know. Well, that's okay. I don't mind fighting for an impossible cause. Anyway, it beats just giving up and doing nothing. Maria, thank you. So this is, again, very intertwined with, uh, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? There's something on the... Is that the Ah, party? it's the first aid kit. Wait. Is it the first aid? It, thought, it looks like the present. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't know cool. why she's looking at it. But... Oh, okay. But in any case, uh, so this is very intertwined with uh, with our story. Um, There is a ritual to resurrect the dead. And then... um. 
Ernest notes, he's like, oh, you must be, so that's why you can see me. This is an allusion to uh, James and the fact that she is a manifestation of um, Mary, James' wife. Yeah, and he was talking about how there are some things you can forget and some things you can't forget. And he's not really sure which one is sadder. That is absolutely an allusion to the, the fact that James kills Mary and then manages to repress it and completely forget about that incident. Yep, exactly. Couldn't have said it better, Drew. That's what I'm here for, buddy. stuff in here oh it's here ah huh it's the uh, beginning of the uh yeah we opened up a shortcut yeah blocked by a wall blocked by a warrior a warrior i feel like there is somewhere else that we could go do 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 there is. I'm gonna go to the bedroom. Some kinky like that. Hey. Oh. Now this is unlocked. Somehow he managed to unlock it from behind that door. Yes. Also. I don't know if this is maybe this is just me, but, uh, oh no. Uh, I don't know if this is maybe just me, but, uh, this, like, house is not put together like a house should be. <laughs> no, you, you definitely. Oh, oh, it's terrible. Ah. Yeah, no, you've definitely got a point. This this house is, I mean, like any other structure in Silent Hill, it's very uh, convoluted and not always seeming to conform to Euclidean geometry. Correct. Jeez. Dude, those bugs, Those man. bugs mess you up. So I'm just putting this out there, but I'm getting the feeling that Ernest isn't exactly human. Ah, uh, you could maybe say that. <laughs> Keep out of haunted mansion. You don't gotta tell me twice. Yeah, seriously. You could have just said haunted mansion. The keep out kind of writes itself. Oh, there it is. Here we go. There we are. There we are. So this is <coughs> this is the apartment complex that we're getting to now. Yeah. So now we're in the Blue Creek Apartments. This is where uh, this is like the first like actual area that James gets to. Ooh, kind of flooded. Do I have a map of this area? I don't have a map of this area. Uh, the Blue Creek Apartments. This is like the the spooky dark world version. Oh, we're already in the dark world. Yeah. Yeah, because everything's all flooded. I guess that again speaks to Maria's being a part of James's uh, personal hell. The fact that she just starts in the dark world. Oh, there's the white liquid. Well, that didn't have to go far for that. Nope. Do we just run back now? I think so. Well, there's a save point. I'm gonna drop a save. Might as well. I'm sad that I wrote over one of our start over files. Well, you don't actually have to continue off of them, right? You just hit new game and it remembers. Yeah. Whoa! So, 
not actually a big deal. <coughs> well, that was like the shortest errand ever. Yeah. We're going to be doing this a lot. Spoilers. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised there was not even a single puzzle to get to the white liquid. Yeah, this game is more like, oh, this game is more like a, I, again, I, I'm not slamming this game, but I feel like it's more of an afterthought, like they wanted to use the assets for the for Silent Hill 2 in another game, and like they, like they just kind of wanted to milk out more money. Well, um, this was released as part of the Director's Cut edition, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a re-release of the game. Yeah. So, it's not like they were releasing this as a standalone thing, as like a money grab, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really, it seems like it's just a, a little, like, here's some, a bit of extra world flavor for you. Yeah, let's just like put something quick together. Yeah. At this point they realized they'd never make a better Silent Hill than Silent Hill 2, so they're like, why don't we just add more a little bit more to Silent Hill 2? Let's just put it. more Silent Hill 2 in this Silent Hill. <laughs> oh, dude. Can we just talk about for a second how sad I am that Silent Hills got cancelled? Uh, me too. Oh, oh my god. I was so looking forward to that. Oh my god. Just the fact that, like, we're having Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro on the same game. Two fantastic movie directors on the same game. Well, Hideo Kojima was the, uh... Well, ha -ha, I <laughs> Get it? Oh, man, I did that first, but now I do. Oh, man. Whoa. That was a secret joke, and then you just, like, lobbed the bomb, and then I had to wait for it to I, explode. I, yeah, I didn't cook the grenade. Oh, I just kind of lobbed it over there. just kind of lobbed it. Oh, that was good. Mm. Oh, man. All right. And we're back. <laughs> yeah, back to depressing cutscene time. Thank you, Maria. That's the only item I couldn't get myself. By the time I found out about it, I could no longer leave this house. So long. Yes, but we'll... Maria, the gods are here. You know it, too. You were born in this town. I'm not sure God is the right word. Do you believe in fate? Not really. That's fine, then. Ernest, can I open this? This is a dead end. There's nothing beyond here. I know. So, what if I had said I believed in fate? That James. He's a bad man. isn't you. Because he's kind? Do you know something? Yes. Maria, you are... Anyway, that's just what you think. You don't really know anything. That's fine. Okay.
No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? My name is Maria. It's over! Hey, that was really short. Yeah, <laughs> so... Yeah, so I mean, like that, again, that, that's... That's really what it come, boils down to. It was just a uh, quick aside. You know, just to get you caught up to speed as to why Mary got to the point that she, or Maria got to the point that she was at. But really interesting stuff with uh, with Ernest there. We find out that he wasn't real. He was dead the whole time. That uh, that stay out of haunted house thing. Mm. It was haunted. Everybody was dead in there. Yeah. If you took a look at the uh, really close look at the gloves, the gloves had a little bit of blood on them. Mm -hmm. It seems to su suggest that he actually did open the present when he got it from his daughter yeah maybe he killed himself with the gloves on but uh but more importantly um he says james is a bad man and this is we hadn't heard about james at all in the uh in the uh what's it called the game up to this point but then she says yes i know like like she had some prior knowledge of uh, of james yeah so, like... And uh, it's really... It's interesting that, like, Ernest knows about James as well, somehow. And it all just feeds back to the whole Silent Hill 2 experience being this, like, personal hell for James. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, the whole, the whole thing with Maria knowing that James is a bad man that she says... That he says, she, he's looking for the you that isn't you implying that M Maria is the real one and Mary is the figment mm -hmm. although we know that to be the opposite yeah so I don't know it's just, it's just cool I mean it doesn't do too much to add to the general story overall but uh, you know it's there that's pretty cool I don't yeah. know I'd give this a solid like five or so you know just because again it was it was short it was meant to just be just an add-on for someone who bought the director's cut, a aka just a second copy of the game. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, I mean, for what it is, it's it's fine. You know, there there was really only one puzzle to speak of, but I mean, yeah, it, it was just a little add-on thing. So it's more of a bonus for people who got Silent Hill 2 director's cut or the HD collection more than like a reason to buy it in and of itself so yeah okay that's gonna wrap us up for this one next time we're gonna catch you guys for the uh endings i guess yeah we're gonna add a, add on stuff we're gonna do the extra endings and then sort of a uh anal in-depth analysis of the man that is james sunderland oh boy stay tuned guys